to the bottom of the bottle I've been drowning, I've been floating away Every other dollar that I got in bed I probably went and f***ed it away I ain't f***ing okay I ain't liking it, babe I don't even wanna talk I'm just smoking my haze I've been stuck in my ways I've been stuck here for days I've been staring at the clock As the radio plays I'm in sleep Yeah. Rolling another, I'm stuck in my seat full of hole, controlling my speech Yeah, I've been trying to get off this couch for a minute and a whole damn week No kidding, I'm skinny, I cannot eat Got a million f***ers that depend on me Yeah, every friend in my family leaves I'm a girl, every fan I meet myself I'm too long, but I'm too off Come down to make new thoughts Like jumping off of that rooftop Hold my camera when I do not to make moves Based on my mood drops Like who's lost? Like who's lost? It's your stuff Stanley killing me, running my brain full of shame I don't wanna lose shame Ripping a hundred more less Never stop, no rest Till the stress is breath in my chest Till the diamonds wrapping my neck Progress to a god from a god Mess, hopeless, more tests More bless Dug deep down, trying to find my best Find a beast, had to kill a conquest I'm next I'm too on till I'm too off Come down, make new thoughts Like jumping off of that rooftop Hold my camera when I do not to make moves Based on my mood drops Like who's lost? Like who's lost? It's your stuff Stand on the kill of me Running my brain full of shame I don't wanna lose shame Trying to get off this couch for a minute and a whole damn week No kidding, I'm skinny, I cannot eat Got a million f***ers that depend on me Yeah, every friend in my family leaves I'm a girl, every fan I meet myself I'm too on till I'm too off Come down to make new thoughts Like jumping off of that rooftop Hold my camera when I do not to make moves Based on my mood drops Like who's lost? 
Like who's lost? It's your gun. Stand on the kill of me, run in my brain. Full of shame, I don't want to lose it. Up for the stage, run up on the mountain. I see a sun coming out of that brain. Up, my team really not tame. I'm gonna never slow down, I'm gonna never be hate. Up, stop and stop this prison, stop this cake. Take it over on us. Well, good afternoon, good evening, good morning to everybody out there. Jason here at City of Trees Sports. And a pleasure it is to have you live in a charge for, well, a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of uh, sun, a whole lot of Pocono, the Tricky Triangle here on tonight's uh, broadcast. Eric, it sucks you're not going to be on today's race. Hopefully you're going to be safe on the road out there, my friend. Hopefully things are going to be good and you know, we'll be able to see you back next week. That's for darn sure. Um, uh, thank you to everybody that's out there. Uh, I crash. thank you so much for being out there as well, asking uh, how I'm doing. I am... Uh, as far as doing better today, I'm just doing. We're just going to be doing for a little bit. That's where we're going to be at, but I'm here to call some racing and have some fun. That's the way it is. Starting grid for the Stevens Motorsports Pocono Raceway here for the Winston Throwback Series. The Gen 6 car is going to look as such. Just Hossie is going to be your pole sitter. Jesse Bunnell, your outside pole sitter. Brooks Durting and Joshua Abbey are going to be row number two. Dennis Daly, Joshua Brock are going to make up row number three. Kevin Savoy, Anthony Crowner in row number four. Tyler Nichols is going to have Jeff Plestiz outside row number five. Donna Williams, Zachary King in row number six. Row seven is going to be Sam Green and Jason Miz. Clayton Kincart is going to have J.D. McKaylee out there in row number eight. Row nine will be Thomas Gum and uh, Mr. Spicy, the Richard Holland, the guy, the legend, who is, uh, he's hurt right now. Hopefully his, hopefully his leg holds up. Holy cow, man. Uh, A.J. Stevens, uh, tonight's sponsor with Stevens Motorsports, is going to be uh, inside row number 10 with Mike uh, out there to his outside. Gary Freeman, Diesel Hunter, going to be out there. Row 11, Nelson and Robin Stevens there. Row 12, row 13 is going to be Garrett Wolfenbarger with James Morgan. Row uh, 14 will be uh, Anthony McPherson and uh, Bobby Arnett. That is the way it is. It is the way the cookie crumbles. And this is Pit Road. About it. Good to see everybody out there. If you haven't done so, reach up at the like button for me. It goes a long way to support straight. It does uh, carry... Some absolute uh, awesome things uh, to do that. Uh, you basically are guaranteed to have um, the coolest reactions of any other content creator out there because uh, I appreciate it more. It's just the way it is, right? Uh, driver's going to leave in pit road. You're going to see him uh, working on that one. Uh, 70 laps, three sets of tires, one fast pair. Evie's paint shot, 75% fuel for the drivers. I believe they still have the fast I have to check back on that. I, I thought it said it, but I could be mistaken. Two and a half miles in length on this track, so similar to what we saw at the Super Speedway last week. We're going to definitely see um, long race time, uh, lo a, long ra a longer race, but uh, the lap times are, are hopefully going to be a little bit uh, uh, more in the wake of, uh, of the speeds that we've been seeing out of, uh, out of the Gen 6 car. Uh, next gen car, not as much, but uh, this this car is absolutely insane. Uh, track temperature, stupid hot, 123 degrees. Uh, and pardon the pardon the the big S word there, but that is absolutely th this. Uh, these cars have been running some massively hot uh, hot temp uh, hot track temperatures in this series. Uh, the air temperature, 77 degrees, 45 percent humidity, clear skies, nine mile an hour wind. Uh, it is uh, it is just it's ridiculously hot. It, 
hopefully they'll be able to hold on to it i think that's the big key the big key about this track is being able to hold on to the race car being able to make the race car work the way you want it to um and uh it's it's gonna be gonna be crazy to see what they do uh when it comes to the pace and when it comes to the pace they're 70 miles an hour around uh, this track uh caution laps take quite a while so hopefully we see some green flag racing and uh this uh, this track will be able to work up uh jb's paint shop mci graphics part of the platform here that's uh, what who helps uh who keeps this thing rolling there's pit lane there is uh by the barney flagman we're going green Turn one, three different shapes to the corners here for uh, the uh, the big tricky triangle. And the two and a half mile length track uh, has a ton of character, and we'll have some some battling here for the driver's seat. The 20 already free, but else going to have the race pace on the outside lane. 18 of Quasi will have dirting there to the front bumper of him as well. A couple of driver cams today. One of them, your sponsor. Mr. AJ Stevens starting back here from uh, the 17th spot. 31 is the number on his car as he uh, holds on to the tunnel turn. It's going to be very, 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 very much the uh, the race pace that you want to see out of these drivers. But uh, here's the onboard cam that he has. Beef Jerky Unlimited giving you all your driver cams each and every week. You got BeefJerkyUnlimited.com. Make sure you check them out because uh, they're absolutely legendary when it comes to the snack of choice that I choose. Uh, well, thank you to AJ Stevens. Stevens Motorsports is uh, a YouTube channel that I encourage you folks to go out there and look at first and foremost because, uh, well, let's face it, turn one's busy here right now. But uh, the uh, the fact of the matter is he he wanted to make sure that uh, this league is going to be able to keep uh, keep broadcasts and uh, I'm right now their preferred broadcaster of choice and uh, so it directly impacts so everything that he did to help the uh, help uh, their platform helps my platform so i'm encouraging you to go give him a follow at youtube.com at stevens motorsports make sure you check him out he does have the missus out there racing with him tonight and uh, she is uh, sitting right about that 22 spot right here in the number 88 little four credit from stevens family they all support each other and they uh, are big uh, big supporters of uh, uh backing them up back there as well so i encourage you to go Take a look at what they're doing and and uh, make sure that uh, you check out some of the videos. I actually have their uh, the iCrash Weekly channel linked up in my Discord. Um, I thought I had AJ's channel linked up as well. Yeah, content creators. Yeah, I think I did. I think I do. Pretty sure I do. Oh no, I got iCrash's stuff. So we'll have to put we'll have to hook the bot up to to get uh, AJ's stuff put up there as well. So support you, your local content creators, folk. That's uh, the way I see it. Driver's still working. And uh, fast lap in the race, 54-8-3. Anthony Crown over the five spot. Posse's going out front, side by side. Now trying to take over the lead from the 17. This is a track that uh, track position is going to matter, but the draft is going to matter as well. Tire saving is the most important factor of Pocono. Three different turns. Showcase three different race lines. And uh, it's just... Fantastic. TJ, thank you for the like out there, sir. I appreciate you, Mr. Grover. You're have a fantastic day. Folks, if you inter interact with our Facebook page uh, and uh, you hit those likes out there, you do all that stuff, I get to give out uh, our weekly rewards, which uh, one of those is to... Um, starting right there to the back bumper of the 17. One of those is our, our fan appreciation that I get to give out every Monday. Uh, so I encourage you to, to interact and... Leave comments on our Facebook page and and do all that cool stuff because that's uh, that's the th those things matter uh, and matter to me and it's it's a, a, another way for me to show appreciation to to everything we do. But uh, you folks out there on YouTube have been killing it lately, so keep up the good work. Thank you for all the follows that you guys and subscriptions you guys have been able to do. I like it. Um, I like to see it. I like to see what you guys are doing. So thank you very much to everybody out there. Thank you to all the folks out there on Twitch as well. Make sure you follow us on Twitch, on Twitter. We're live on all four platforms. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be doing our anniversary special. So if you haven't uh, haven't checked that out, we're going to be doing some cool stuff with that. It's going to be on our... Um, uh, it should be on our YouTube channel and our, uh, our Twitch channel. We should be able to do it both. It's a marathon stream. Private donations uh, add to the, the, the timer. Um beforehand uh, if you donate to our paypal or our, our 
uh, or our cash app privately or whatever the, the case may be those things go and they uh they get double time so right now it's like i think it's four uh, four minutes for every dollar donated basically if, it, if the math serves me correctly the way that we have it set up so right now we we started the timer at five or at four hours and we're up to five hours 40 minutes on the timer we're gonna go as long as uh, long as possible and we'll have streams uh, we'll have our i racing streams in the middle of all of it if we have to but uh, it's a good way to the one we're celebrating four years of signature esports uh, but we're also going to be celebrating um the uh not just celebrating but we're going to be you know subathon marathon whatever you want to call it we're, we're we're trying to do more for the channel is what we're trying to do we're going to be doing that with uh with all of the uh uh with, with all of our folks we're going to do what we can we might do some my racing we, we might, i don't know what we're going to be doing yet but we're going to be doing some stuff. Miz is up four spots. Spicy up five. Wolfenbarger's going to be up ten already. From the back of the field to the front. Try to work his way there. AJ Stevens right behind him. Two Chevys in the, in the mix. But now back out front as uh, he tries to take the, the get the pass on the 18. 18 into the wall. Down to the 20. 18 able to save it there. Cossie. They were tied on the corner. The air gets so disrupted on this uh, on this on this race line. Here's where they are. A little bump out of the corner, not a big deal. Watch turn three right here. Here's uh, here's a little impacted rewind. He gets down to the bottom, down to the bottom, down to the bottom, down to the bottom. Goes to exit and 18 still there. And I mean a good save by the 18. 18 just. That was a that was a, that was the 17 trying to exit there. Crown over. Coming in. But now back to the inside. There's the 20. Trying to see what happened there for Bunnell. Now gets back around the 24. Anthony Crown over trying to strike here. 20 up to the mix now. As they all go back to work. How about Tyler Nichols in the 42? There you see Dennis Daly in the six behind. Donnell Williams trying to strike on the outside with a 98. Kevin Savoy in tow with a 99. Basically, the top eight drivers all within a blanket. Let's go Hollins' his Pollard out there. A little rubbing here and there. Not a bad deal. Not typically a bad deal. Spicy. Oh, two. Holland, uh, having uh i don't know how rich is out there driving right now he sent me a picture of his foot he had a uh a dirt bike accident or a motorcycle accident or something like that this past week and uh his leg is about the size of a grapefruit hopefully it's feeling better for him I Went to ask him earlier today but we got caught up with the office and work he's right behind your sponsor aj stevens they continue to try to move forward Aussie coming up here road he's got to come in and he's got some some of that damage just too much on the car he has to get it all to work out big laps here so the drivers are going to be able to basically come to pit road and work on their car and uh you know it takes 56 seconds to get around this racetrack but we'll see the pit cycle short change itself about uh, 26 27 laps typically on on the uh, fuel mileage that the, these uh, this league puts on, but that all depends on who's going to be out front. It depends on depends on the track temperature. Depends on how hard they run. But now is going to be out front. Crown over in second. Now as Anthony goes back to work, Anthony needs to. If he gets back out front here. We'll have to look at the clean air. Dennis Daly right behind the 98. So we see a lot of drivers work. Here's that second pack. Jason Miz, Jeff Pleska, Wolfenbarger. All right, the mix as well. Here's Mr. Gom in the five. They're right on board with that driver. There's Mr. Spicy. 
with his neon signs. I'm surprised the little parrot's not with him. He's down to the inside here. 11 laps in. He's got to take a drink on the straightaway. Long straightaway, long enough to be able to do so. Nothing wrong with uh, having an adult beverage while you get out there and relax and have some fun with the Basco Fiasco car. I do love the paint schemes. If you like the paint schemes that you see, most of the paint schemes were created uh, by the league owners themselves. Uh, Michael Coulter Jr. and Joshua Brock put themselves out there. Uh, you should see the bot put up some stuff out there as well. Make sure to follow. There's the link to follow. Uh, the YouTube uh, channel for Stevens Motorsports. Make sure you go check that out. Brooks Drifting is going to be in second. Abby is going to be in third. Kevin Savoy up to fourth now. Proudover back in fifth. Momentum to the works is what it looks like. That's what's going to matter here. 28 back to the inside. Each uh, each of these pay, uh, each of these laps are just going to work uh, to a certain advantage of uh, anybody who's tire saving in that first pack and even in the second pack. There's A.J. Stevens going to be up six. Tom Gom's going to be up five. He's at 12th and 13th right now. Spicy right all over the back bumper. Let's see if Richard goes to the inside. He is going to try to make the inside. Five, a little bit free. Big bump from the 31. Tunnel turn. The reason why they call this a tunnel turn, folks, is because that's how the NASCAR haulers and all the uh, the semis enter uh, the racetrack. There's a big tunnel underneath. Manda, he's in first. He is. He's leading here. He had a good battle with the 18 early on. They kind of touched. But uh, now they're going to be back at it and uh, kind of working on it. Holland uh, right behind the five. Stevens looking to go to the inside. Miss Marquis, the uh, the better half of uh, the Bonello family. No offense, Jesse. You're putting the kids to bed, catching up now. Much love, dear. Much love. Much love to you, the fam. Yeah, he started outside pole, and right now he's starting to pull away. 99 carrying. Clean air is very important here. The ability to save tires is uh, going to be the next most important. Abby was uh, wonderful. Definitely the better half. <laughs> See? Quarter exit going to those who can carry speed and those who can carry the corner. 17 down to break up the draft. Something that is uh, tried and true for the Pocono crew. Uh, in pretty much every circuit we've seen, anything with a big sweeping front straightaway, similar to Indianapolis uh, and uh, Pocono, they like to try to break up the draft. Uh, the more you can break up the draft, the more... Uh, the more downforce you can you can help yourself with, and, and the less downforce uh, the car behind you has, uh, can wash the air. A little wall tap for the 17 there. Uh, but Dirtyin trying to save a little bit, trying to get a run on him here. But here comes Kevin Savoy. Savoy to the back uh, uh, at about half second the distance here. When he trying to work on the race line of the 17 here, 17 a little better entry on the corner. The 20 is going to run high near the wall. Might have a run here. We'll see if the 17 breaks the draft up here. He's going to try to. But Brooks is going to be able to keep that draft and keep himself moving forward. Along with uh, the 99 to Savoy. Top six drivers. Top seven drivers. All with the blanket. But don't look now. There's Donna Williams. Right, the top eight drivers. Don't look now. Here comes the one. Garrett Wolfenbarger who's up 16 spots. All in the gum up five. A.J. Stevens in tow. And now this second pack uh, has uh, who had three drivers at one time. Now have all gotten to the point where they have uh, they've got a big pack working with them. Here's the work on the outside, 71 to 31. Big bump to him there. You see, this is the camera that I want Daytona to have for iRacing. Oh, 71 gets really to the back bumper of the 31, pushes him almost too hard. James Morgan. Clayton Kenkart there to the bottom side. Morgan almost too aggressive there as he saw the check up into the tunnel turn to 35. He's just trying to run the race line there and uh, saw a huge run. And now Gom will see uh, 
Spicy go around him here. He's trying to catch up to Jeff Pless and company. We'll see if they, they do work. J.D. McKaylee. Mike back there as well. Mike's going to be off too, but he is trying to work with, uh, he's working around Zach King and got Gary Freeman right here in the, in the 97. That's who we were watching at the beginning of the race whenever I was playing around with the, uh, with the cameras. Um, I do love my driver cams. I really do. I do love the, I do love the cameras that I, that I have and all the, all the cool things that I was doing uh, because I can, you know, can do all kinds of stuff here with the, with the old drone. I call it the drone. But, you know, this is the cool NASCAR stuff that they do. So here's my problem with the Fords on iRacing. A little, little check up there for the 75. Listen to these. It don't sound right. All right, big bump coming. Bunnell under fire from uh, Kevin Savoy. Savoy pushes tight up the racetrack into the wall. 20 goes down as well. 20 into the inside wall. Heavy damage for the 20. 99 got into the wall there as uh, the 20 did so. Man, oh man, Dean, big good luck to the drivers out there. Have to come to pit road here. That left front is absolutely mangled. Nichols coming around. Man. We'll go around. This is on the tunnel turn. It just sounds sick. The Fords just sounds sick. Watch this on the 20. Went to go to the inside. the checkup on the 99. Went to go to the inside. Actually, the 20 got into the 99 there. Was not able to keep it off the right rear. A little more break on that one. Might have been able to keep it straight. Man, 99 was going to get to the wall a little bit on the right rear, but which is bad exit. Brown over back to second here is the 99 will have to go back to work. Then it's daily up to fifth now back where he started Abby there as well. Donna Williams is at five. Wolfenbarger, a hot trot to the front here. Lap times for this driver, 55-3-4. A little bit slower than your race leader. Now he and Crownover, this, this little three-pack can try to pull away. Abby closing in. Has heavy speed on the outside, but here's the six. Now they're going to be losing a little bit of ground. Wolfenbarger, five and a, a five and a third back as well. Six to the inside, Dennis Daly. Pulls the 42 of Tyler Nichols, Wolfenbarger in tow of, of that uh, of that little group. They are trying to catch Jesse Bunnell. Wolfenbarger last lap, 57-70. Bunnell, 57-38. But a two and a half second fall off for most of the drivers here. 57-99 for the five and the 35. Five back to the outside. They're hurting each other by not riding. Tunnel turn here for the drivers as well. Here's the excessive downshift from Tom Gom there. Sometimes you just got to ride. Joshua Brock back here off seven. We'll have James Morgan in tow of 12. J.D. McKaylee there, right there in the mix. We're about a quarter of the way through this one. Actually, about a third of the way through this one. 
as uh, the drivers go to work. I'm going to take a hydrate break. I'm going to grab some water. Make sure you guys keep the chats up there. Talk to each other. I want to see what you guys are doing. Pocono going pretty nicely here for the Stephen Motorsports Pocono Series. Uh, Winston throwback every night. Hold on, exciting for you. Check out your drivers.
night. Love the chats. Good to see everybody out there. Thank you, everybody, for being in chat. Of course, uh, always a pleasure to see all of you out there. Much love to you. But Nell is uh, this lap's older. The top three pulled away from Wolfenbarger and company. Dennis Daly rolling. Mr. Van Ness, much love to you. 24 gets into the wall out there. We watched that, that happen. Hopefully, could be good to go. Have a, up a positive eight spots gain for Richard Holland here in the Toyota. Joshua Brock right behind Gom Morgan. I'll try to play catch up as well. Wolfenbarger to fourth from the back of the field. We have uh, eight seconds that he's going to need to try to make up somewhere on this racetrack. Does have good pace. Dennis Daly, fastest driver on the racetrack right now, though. 57.35, 58s for the rest of the field. Uh, other than your top four. So Bunnell leads the pack, 57.68. They're going to come to pit road. There's that 27 lap charge. Ooh, got to get down to speed. Woo. Wolfenbarger and company are going to go around and take over the lead. So this will be your first lead change of the race. Uh, or sorry, second lead change of the race. First lead change. Well, caution comes out. That is the worst time for that to happen. Mike McKaylee, Gary Freeman. AJ Stevens gets it, gets a little bit of it too. There's Mike right here. Oh, Freeman in front of him. Oh no, oh no. Oh yeah. AJ almost got taken out there. Watch this. He sees it happening. Oh, whoa, baby. Um, let's say did not stop. And they did. It did come to pit road. They'll cycle back to the front. I think that messes up with them too much. An extra 10 seconds of repairs for Kevin Savoy here will be just fine. Levi Allen, give us like, what's up, Levi? Much love to you, man. Congrats on the on the, uh, uh, on the podium last night, brother. Man. I see taking a breather. He was up some good spots there. There's AJ. We normally talk to, I was going to talk to AJ a little bit ago. Um. Uh, but uh, during during the pace laps, but uh, I had to uh, update Discord at the same time. So the things that you do in the middle of a race to be able to do it. So man, he almost. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you had to check the uh, check the grounds. We're in dark pants. Can you see how close that was to the 31? Well, I got one even better. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this right. Let me see if I can do it right. It looked a lot closer than what it was, but uh, still... That's what I was going to do. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Gets around the corner. And then right about here is when you get. That's exactly what happened there. All right. Back to live. We go. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Gen 6 cars here, Levi. Yeah, these guys run Wednesday nights. Pretty pretty good league. What about your split, too? No. 
you're curious or want to get a part of this league, Winston Throwback Series, you can reach out to them. Josh Brock. But now, Crown over Savoy. I oh, know Williams uh, takes the race off the pit road there. So well, Wolfenbarger was way back here left, but he's going to have a better shot here now uh, to be able to take some of that uh, that quick speed that he had and utilize that. But now Crown over Savoy, you're going to have to figure out uh, where that's going to be. They've got one more pit stop in them before the end of this race, um, and that'll be somewhere around lap 54 to 58. For most of the drivers. Right now we're coming around a complete lap 30. So we'll be lights off on the pace car, but Nell, Crown Over, Savoy, Williams, Daly will be your top five. Oh, man. Fossey was your lucky dog, or should have been your lucky dog that time by. So he'll only be a lap down. AJ Stevens is coming off pit road. He got a minute 22 fixed on his car there. Gonna be, he's going to be restarting behind Robin, his better half. Fossey still one lap down, looking for another one. Freeman still has some damage to get taken care of. So no fast repair uh, on today's race there, folks. That's just a confirmation there for everybody. Uh, they, had, they had one last week for this super speedway. I thought it read fast repair, but I, I, I assumed I was wrong on that one. So Carter Nelson back here in the 11. He had an issue earlier uh, on lap 25. Wanted to see what happened to him because... He's completed 25 laps. Here with me here he is right here well, he left there oh right here lap 17 sorry lap 17 it was Carter Nelson I think he just got out of the wall here oh and same thing the 18 man same spot man Joseph can't win for losing on that one same spot got another car in the same spot and he, that was at, that was on lap 17. It was long after uh, Joseph's issue earlier. So 17, 28, 99, the 98, 642 on the restart here. James Morgan up 18 spots. Wolfenberger at 15. Green flag. And they make up the ground. It's the big, big key. Tunnel turn is a ton of fun to drive. You just you have to if you are behind somebody and you're trying to make a pass on exit on the on the on a tunnel turn exit, that's the worst place to try to make a pass. Um, you need to make it. You need to commit to the entry of it and be able to clear on the exit, uh, or at least be able to have the momentum to clear them out of the exit. Caution comes back out once again here. Josh Brock Wolfenberger involved. Mm. 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 That was not a good one. There were three wide there. Mike and JD involved. Oh no. Mike almost got slowed down for that. I'm sorry, that's JD. That's Mike. That's JD. JD went down to the bottom. Oh, Spicy got it too. Man. So hard to go from 185 miles an hour down to nothing right there. That changes almost everything. Spicy almost cleared that, and then Tom 
came back up on track. Joseph Cossey was involved, the 21, the 12, the 75. Gary Freeman's on pit road, so he's good. Wolfenbarger was involved. Took less damage than most of the drivers. AJ was able to make it through that again. And once again, literally going to be his thing. Watch this. Watch this from his uh, cockpit view here. Watch it unfold. AJ's just been in the in a great position every time. Sees him wrecking there, goes down to avoid. Sees it, sees it, sees it, misses it, misses it, locks the brakes up. And then just like that, misses it. Did not get hit. The 2X on that one right there was his own doing. That's, incre that's incredible. Mr. Day, thank you for the like, sir. Much love to you, brother. Anthony Crown over. It might be in the back, but that was way in the back. I mean, he went, let's think about it this way. AJ went from 24th to 14th. Now he's on pit road. He's just fixing the damage from the earlier issue. Josh Brock getting some things taken care of. James Morgan able to hustle on around, but uh, Joseph Cossey still off the lead lap. We're seeing a lot of drivers get some things fixed. I mean, it's a good time to get the car worked on and get it fixed because pit road is uh, the pit, the pit, the pit lane. Uh, I'm sorry. What am I trying to say here? <laughs> uh, pit laps or caution laps. There you go. Caution laps are about a minute and 40 minute 50 long. So almost two minutes of, of waiting. Um, so that's a lot of time to get the cars worked on to be able to get back up and around. Oh, yeah, that's one of our sponsors, ChopChopRacing.net. Go check them out. Uh, there's another league out there, folks, that uh, I highly recommend. 17 just killed the wall under caution. Why did Jesse, why did Jesse mess the wall up? Been paying attention if he did right right side damage it looks like might have been talking to the misses might have been looking off to the side who knows spicy back out there is he getting it worked on so getting it worked on i mean might as well get it worked on only a couple of laps they have to deal with not a big deal Mr. Stevens, he's still on the lead lap. He's trying to catch up to the to the field right now. Brought to you by Coke. Uh, I well, I like my driver cams. Gives me a look. Can't text and drive. <laughs> I've been. Mean, See you know how many times I, I I'm impressed with the people who can operate a full functioning keyboard and and drive in a, sim, a full on sim rig uh while uh while you know putting out full sentences on, at official races at martinsville i know some people have hot keys but some people have just have full-on conversations via text it's crazy 17 28 99 98 24 and the seven green flag halfway Carter Nelson back here in the 11 back on the racetrack this is why I prefer refer to this track as Poco no yeah Poco no yeah. I love Poco no though 
It's such a unique track. It really is. How about three and four wide? Why not? Jason Miz, Jeff Pless back here, Robin Stevens, Robin to the inside, Jeff Pless back to the outside. This is a battle happening here with 42. Tyler Nichols carrying the corner. James Morgan still at 14. And Robin Stevens up 12. You see the 40 of Joshua Brock there to the outside. It's Robin in a rock and a hard spot here coming around turn three. 42 to the outside. She's just trying to get up the race line here. You're just unlucky at it. Eh. Don't put her three wide in the corner. Come on now. Joseph Cossey right there. Very dangerously causing his own issues here. Aggressively trying to be the lucky dog. Would be the lucky dog in this situation. Wolfenbarger's behind him. He got his car worked on as well. Holland coming off pit road with the new car. Pretty much six minutes of damage repaired. There's the nine as well. Bunnell leads the field. Crown over in second. You don't have to be that aggressive. We watched the 18 involved in two incidents early earlier that I saw. You don't want to put yourself in a situation, put yourself in a third one here because you can only fix a car so much before the actual engine damage takes over. Did I see Jesse hit the wall? I did not see him hit the wall, but uh, chat did apparently. I was looking, I was looking at a different monitor when it happened. You love poking on you? I like it. I think it's a great track. I like it. It may not like me. It's similar to other, to other, uh, other tracks that uh, I like but don't like me. Dover's one of them. I love Dover. Love driving it, but it doesn't. Uh, that was you. <laughs> I, you know, I in, inadvertently said uh, uh, that was probably it was it, was, it might have been his wife coming over saying hello, or he might have might have needed a drink or something like that. We all get distracted. It's all good. I'm sure. I'm sure it was all in, uh, all within a good reason. He doesn't look. He doesn't look too damaged. We can check his car. See, folks, behind the scenes. Now you know. Amanda was uh, letting everybody know that uh, she was there. It just got a little bit of a front nose scrape. No more than what he had earlier when he had contact with the 18. Oh, I got you. I got you. No worries. No worries. Kevin's boy in third. Abby in fourth. Donnell Williams. I'll have to go back and find it later on and clip or something. Oh. Who's that? Oh, Matt coming off pit road here. Eh, it happens. People have done it for, for, uh, people have, uh, have, uh, done more doing less. It happens. It happens. Abby's going to be in fourth here, right where he started. Josh is putting on a good show. There's the 98 right behind him. You see Donnell Williams up there. Clayton Kincard's going to be in that sixth spot. Sam Green up five. Morgan still trying to push, uh, push some boundaries here. 12 to the back bumper. JD. On the back bumper of the 25 here, trying to play catch up to some of the drivers now. Some of the drivers who've been taking their time now st starting to find their own groove here. We still have one green flag pit stop to go through if it stays green. But if it doesn't stay green, here in about three laps is when we're going to approach the pit cycle for the drivers. Be able to make it to, to the end on fuel. Caution came out on lap 28. They were able to clutch it around to 29. Right now, we'll see what the top... Oh, 24 to the wall back here, Abby. 
There's a 98 to the back bumper now side by side as they get into turn three. Oh, he's getting tight. I think of all the iconic 24 paint schemes that uh, that uh, the Chroma Premier paint scheme that uh, that Gordon ran. I think that's the that's the one that I would prefer to see back again. Brock coming to pit road. Might be looking at uh, what he can do to try to leapfrog some uh, some drivers here. Car might still be a little bit hurt. 42 of 70. Will be 28 laps to go this time by. Anthony Crown over in second. Kevin Savoy in third. Abby holding on. Ooh, a little free. You have to run. Pocono is the opposite of what I would tell anybody when it comes to running the back straightaway. You have to run the wall here at Pocono if you are if you're not the leader. You've got to be able to cut as much air off of that right side of this Gen 6 car as you possibly can. But watch the draft being broken here. But Nell drops all the way down to the bottom of the race line. Going to pull them all back up. The 28 carries. Karam's the corner there. That was a great lineup for the 28. And right now... 17 just trying to take any of that air off of that group behind him 28 carries the exit a lot better though hey. Look at the momentum See the braking zone the 17 takes is a little bit shallower and a little bit earlier than the 28 28 getting a little bit more out of the car getting into the corner this is such a great camera for the back total turn of the back straightaway. And it is one that is actually included in iRacing. No, not something I had to set up. They've all been there. Donna Williams in sixth. Jason Miz. Sam Green, this whole group trying to work together. James Morgan to the bottom side, the 2100. 2100 I rated driver still battling with a 3400 I rated driver behind Sam Green has had an amazing week He's still continuing to to, to show up here today 25 will be there to the outside 71 still trying to utilize the inside lane uh, This is turn one is the most defensive corner you have um, Two and three are pretty solid and straight through you pass in certain areas, you know, it's similar to passing at uh, at a short a couple of short tracks and then of course uh, you know, the tunnel turn, uh, idea, the idea of the tunnel turn is uh, there for Indianapolis. But uh, for the most part, you're seeing a lot of these drivers be very defensive. 17 all the way down to the bottom of the racetrack. You see the 28 going right with them. If I'm the 28, I take that clean air and not the draft air because right now the 17 is going to start pulling away. All right, uh, so turn one is modeled after Trenton Speedway. Turn two is the tunnel turn is modeled af after Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And, and turn three is modeled after the Milwaukee Mile. Crazy to think that uh, turn three carries what he does here. But look at that speed. The 28 carries out of the corner. Has the 99. 99 might get back to the inside here. Momentum is everything. 25 laps to go. MCI Graphics on Trading Paints. Thank you to Stevens Motorsports for sponsoring today's race for the Winston Throwback Series. Uh, a little bit helps that series continue to push. Right now, the 24, who's had some right rear damage, we'll see it. 99 makes the pass. We'll have to do something to get to the back bumper to the 17 if he wants to try to make that pass early. Right there, six drivers all with a blanket. James Morgan trying to carry this group back around. The seven of Miz here as well. 42 to the inside. Tyler Nichols rolling. Dennis Daly down to the bottom side. Jeff Pless up there. J.D. McKeeley holding on. A.J. Stevens back here with the next group. Joseph Cossey trying to do something. Do the downshift. I hear the downshift on the drivers.
not impossible to downshift on this track. We've seen NASCAR do it for a long time. 18 to the back bumper to the 31. Robin Stevens right here with the one to the inside. It's Wolfenbarger. Eighty-eight doing a great job. That's what I talk about. That being a defensive line is right there. Robin able to carry the corner. It was spicy around the corner. You can defend. You can defend turn one like you can pretty much every other super speed or every other mile and a half track. A couple turns where she's got to get a little bit more out of the corner. Make a bit free here. And turn three, working for her. She's doing a phenomenal job. Turn on our lady racers out there. Make sure that uh, you do go and enjoy everything that you do. I mean, come on now. Robin Stevens. One to the back bumper. She's gonna run high here. She's gonna be out of the corner, out of the gas. That's the one go. Yep, she got tight in the corner. There goes the five around her as well. Wolfenbarger would be the next position for her if he can get back around this racetrack and be able to compete that way. Not 16th is where she's at. She's got to track down Mike McKaylee, who's about 10 seconds ahead of her. Race leader. Jesse Bunnell as Kevin Savoy in tow. Anthony Crownover in third. Abby Kincart is going to be your top five. Williams, Nichols, Morgan, Miz, Daly, your top ten. I'm a fan of ladies in, in the iRacing sport. A lot of time they, just, they whip our butts. Tyler Nichols. Whoa, seven to the back bumper to the 71 there. These three Chevys trying to trying to pirouette each other, but Dennis Daly to the bottom side. Daly will be on the inside of the seven, might be able to slide up here, get some of that air, and then try to approach the corner a little bit differently. Seven will work the outside. Miz. You see Daly over the bottom. You hear the break in the throttle here. On the seven, as he got around that corner, he would have slid up behind Dennis Daly. We've been trying to work that corner. Daly will drop to the bottom side here. 21 laps to go. They're within their distance to make it on fuel. If any one of the drivers decide they're gonna they're gonna try to do it again. Now, what we saw, what we're seeing now, same gap that we saw earlier, about eight seconds between the second gap and that front gap. Jesse Bunnell, Anthony Crownover. Crownover takes over second once again as Kevin Savoy tries to hold on here. Bunnell out of the corner. Playoffs will begin next week on this series. It's uh, it's going to be an interesting wake up for all of what we're seeing. Take a look at their points here real quick again. It comes to, yeah, it's a Chase uh, starts at Indianapolis on the 17th. They've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven races left in this season. Right now, Garrett Wolfenbarger has a 41-point lead over Jesse Bunnell. So I think Wolfenbarger actually might get the season championship, depending on points right now. 28 up near the wall. Garrett needs uh, all the points he can get out of this one. 17th is going to be close. We'll find out who the regular season championship uh, champion is going to be next uh, next next week. We go live and we'll talk to whoever that may be. We'll take into consider provisionals, drop weeks, and all that stuff. Like to make sure that we 
we have that uh, correct but now Brown over Savoy Abby dropping back now Ken Cart dropping back as well Donnell Williams might be trying to save something here we'll see if uh, he's gonna be able to do so well, Abby might be able to carry the 94 with him for just a little bit Tyler Nichols gonna be that driver right now so right now they're completing lap 51 With 19 laps to go, a green flag pit stop is in their future. Miz and Stevens coming to pit road. This is a good way to short short change. AJ coming to pit road already. Good strategy here. 19 laps to go. It's a good strategy. He's going to stay. He is just now going to be coming off the lead lap. So literally has the leaders in front of him. An opportunity trying to leapfrog some time here Mason Miz on pit road Robin Stevens leaving pit road or, sorry Robin coming to pit road she could be hitting that pit stop right about yeah And here's your leaders. Wolfenbarger came in on 32. He's not going to be able to make it on fuel. He'll still have to come to pit road. He has a 75 in front of him. 75 is currently uh, in 25th. Has Gom right in front of him. That's a battle for position right here. The five and the 20, uh, five and the 75. They also have Joshua Brock a lap ahead of them. Brock uh, completed lap 41. Bunnell out front over crown over three tenth of a second. This is where Kevin Savoy he can utilize his oh 24 smacks the wall hard. Man. That was a hard hit. And I mean a hard hit. Around that 56 mark is uh, pretty much max for a lot of the drivers. Be five for some of them. Tyler Nichols, Sam Green, couple to pit road. The cleanest entry you can get. I mean, they're literally, you know, 200 plus miles an hour on this racetrack. And uh, Well, not anymore. I think they actually did restrict restrict on on this on this setup. It's still 180 plus miles an hour. I mean, you're talking 155 out of the corner here. 28 carries the corner. Karen's very well. We got 174, 175 between here and turn three normally, but we're seeing wow, well, the tire fall off is pretty heavy. The 16 laps to go here. Miz comes off pit road. He came out on 52. 47 second gap. That's a chance. Abby Henkart coming to pit road. Abby has huge right rear issues. 98 top a top five car tonight. Kevin Savoy trying to go to the inside of the 28 here. And you know that uh, Kevin Savoy is going to try to maximize his uh, his time here. One of the best when it comes to getting in and out of pit road. And the closer that he can get to Jesse on entry, the more of a challenge he's going to be able to make it for the 17. That's how that's how Kevin Savoy wins races. He's got a good long run race pace, but he gets an added pit road better than anybody. Sometimes it's too much. Sometimes he does get a you know speedy penalty, but we'll see. But now we'll come around. 15 laps to go. Kevin Savoy, Anthony Crown over to pit road. Not a bad idea. And he gets slowed down. Wiggle the car. Wiggle the car. There you go. Bunnell. Savoy. James Morgan. J.D. McKaylee. Dennis Daly coming to pit road. You got to maximize your effort getting to pit road. You, you kind of have to be heavy on the threshold. You got to find that, that, uh, that, that dynamic that makes you get on the pit road better. That's the, that, and people tell me all the time when, you know, or ask me all the time, you know, if, they, if there was something that uh, you would recommend somebody to upgrade on their PC, 
for sim racing before anything else it would be the pedals you can you can rock a cheap wheel for as long as you want the pedals are what give you the biggest feel morgan jd mckaylee jeff bless all drivers try to do what they do best jd sitting right behind the 71 here morgan's up 23 but the cycle's going to come around here give them 34 maybe trying to have a little bit more impact maybe thinking about a late race caution be thinking about uh if he can if he can make it uh, a full full fuel cycle here not gonna happen though 30 laps right now for Bunnell and Savoy so they're trying to maximize what they can do 27 was a great number because it would have went 27 uh 28 and then they would have finished off with a short stint right now the leaders are trying to do just that. It's not going to work for them, though. And they do have 75% fuel on this one, so they aren't going to be able to run the full fuel cycle. 28, well, ooh, 12 into the wall. JD smacks the wall just like the 24 did out of the tunnel turn. Jeff Pless to the inside. Bunnell to the bottom side. Kevin Savoy is a 98 of Donnell Williams going around him here. Kevin Savoy staying out. Try to run, run more. Credit for a lap led here a point that'll matter for when it comes to the playoffs here or when it comes to the the uh the season standings comes avoid ninth in the standings here tonight going into today's race it's two wins of the series posse has two wins Bunnell has a win has the most consistent finish out of most of the drivers. But Nell and Causey were battling for second in the standings when it came to uh, that. But right now, Bunnell will lead that one out of the pretty much out of the ballpark here. 99 coming to pit road. This is how he's going to be able to get to pit road the best that he can, maximize his own time. It's a little heavy on that on the speed. I think he was fine though. Morgan takes over the lead. Pless is going to be second. Anthony Crownover reassumes third here. Once he cycles around, Clayton Kincart to fifth. Jason Miz in sixth. Tyler Nichols in seventh. But now for the rest of the field, right there. So Anthony Crownover cycles. We have Clayton Kincart 4.9 behind him. Kevin Savoy just now leaving pit road here. 11 laps to go. And James Morgan still needs to come to pit road. Jeff Pless still does as well. Nick, you love beef jerky? I love beef jerky, too. That's the reason why Beef Jerky Unlimited is my sponsor. Robin is winning over JD right now. Or uh, over AJ right now. I'm, I'm just saying. Robin came in on 52. AJ, about 29 seconds back from Robin. We'll see if uh, they've got enough time. 10 laps to go. It's not impossible. So the Stevens family out there. Stevens Motorsports, make sure you check them out. I know the links popped up a couple times out there. Make sure you go check those guys out. Absolutely phenomenal. They put on a great show. They're all about community. And not only they're about community, they're about taking care of you folks out there. Mr. Spicy, the other legendary fisherman out there that I know. Gonna be seeing that guy here very soon. Once he gets over his stuff and we get over fixing our stuff. There he goes, coming to pit road. Great faced and ready to go. Love that dude. Absolutely amazing. Morgan plus nine laps to go. Yeah, see? There it is. He even has his own exclamation point. Uh, exclamation point, Stevens. 
Boyd hooks up. 71 93, 93, trying to play catch up here. <clears throat> Been a pit road a couple of times. He came out of 34 and 33. And Anthony Crown over. Way out front here. Six seconds. And I'm trying to see what he has in front of him right now. Clayton Kincart and Kevin Savoy were going one two right there. But now trying to close down to Jason Miz right behind Tyler Nichols. But now. Led that entire time and only came in, took right side tires. Lost, he's lost a ton of time getting on pit road. Took, took right sides only and has, I mean, he's got 5.6 seconds to Kevin Savoy right now. Eight laps to go. Morgan to Pless, Brown over. James Morgan just he's gonna run it out. He's gonna run it as long as he can. And I was I had the pitch strategy up just a moment ago. See the longest laps that were ran. 31 was pretty much the max 32 that I saw for Kevin Savoy. I know Kevin likes to almost run it out of fuel. So we'll see. James Morgan to pit road. Jeff Pless is gonna lead here. Here comes Anthony Crown over. Seven laps to go. Kevin Savoy. It's pretty much going to have to run a second plus to be able to catch up right now. And Crownover in the best possible position. He can catch some lap traffic. The seven laps to go. Might be able to do something with it. Right now has uh, five and a half back to Kevin Savoy. Kevin Savoy does have some lap traffic in front of him. But no drafting help. Clayton Kincart was behind him. But now looks down the same straightaways. Wolfenbarger trying to pass Zachary King. Zachary King gets around Wolfenbarger here. Zachary King out of the corner. Wolfenbarger needs every position he can get right now. Round over knows seven and a half seconds is only a matter of time. He's running two and a half seconds faster than Jeff Pless right now. Kevin Savoy. Just ran about a half second. I'm sorry, four tenths of a second faster than Anthony Crownover. But the tires are going to start leveling out. And that's one of the things that I'm seeing. Is that right in front of the 28 is going to be the 88. That's Robin Stevens. Right now, Crownover out of the corner. We'll see the 88 in front. Six seconds and gaining is the 28 trying to get around some lap traffic here. This is where he's going to have the issue. This is where he's going to have the battle. Jeff Pless still out front. Brown over trying to get to the back bumper and trying to sneak this one out. Five laps to go. Kevin Savoy in tow. Brown over trying to get around the one of Wolfenbarger. Trying to track down Jeff Pless. Would be the race leader here as the one of the nine go at it. He came in on 54. 28 to the bottom. Nine way up the race line, side by side. 28 trying to clear here. This is the issue for the 28. He has to clear here. Four to go for Anthony Crownover. Jeff Pless has to come to pit road. He just needs a splash. He just needs the right sides. And then he has to get out. Crownover takes over the lead. Kevin Savoy four seconds back now. Clayton Kincart. Rolling in. 32 the max. 28 is usually what we see. Right now, Anthony Crownover had the right strategy. Carries four seconds with four laps to go. 3.9 as we speak. Kevin Savoy behind the group. 
if Kevin can close down to about seven tenths of a second here, he might be able to make it work, but he's he's going to be pushing harder than everybody else out there. Anthony Crownover, 3.6 in closing. Kevin Savoy, a lot of lap traffic. Out of the corner. Going to have draft help here. Three to go. Bunnell, three and a half back from Ken Cart. Ken Cart having a great day. Give it on 55. Same kind of cycle as Anthony Crownover. Just a lap earlier. Gained a lot of time to be able to keep that car where it needs to be. Bunnell, though. Not closing in where he needs to. It showed me a 10-second pit stop, which means he took either rights or left sides only. And Kevin Savoy losing ground right now with some lap traffic. Got a, I tell you what, hats off to Robin. What a phenomenal race here. Up 10 spots, kicking butt, taking names. Open up on all these boys. We like it. Turn three here at Pocono. Three and a half seconds. Anthony Crownover. Outrunning Kevin Savoy, Clayton Kincart as well. Bunnell led the most laps today. Sits fourth. Tyler Nichols in fifth. Jason Miz trying to close his uh, laps down, but to tell you what, Tyler Nichols just a touch faster here. Dennis Daly's going to be in seventh. Donnell Williams in eighth. Sam Green in ninth. Mike McHaley in tenth. I mean, unless AJ can get 24 seconds out of this somewhere, that's not the way you see it. 28. Turn three, coming up. Anthony Crownover, 2.8 second lead. White flag waves, final lap. He needs three of the smoothest, fastest corners he can get. Right now, Wolfenbarger in tow. One driver separates the 99 from the back bumper of the 28, but it is almost too little too late. 99 to the inside, he can see him. It's right there within reach. The car directly ahead of the 99 is Anthony Crownover. 2.6 second lead. Gary Freeman having an issue. Doesn't matter. The white flag has waved. And the final turn here at Pocono sees the triple OG of Anthony Crownover. One of the final race of the regular season. He's going to have a nice playoff. Anthony Crownover wins here at Pocono. Pit strategy was everything. Kevin Savoy stayed out three laps too late. Bunnell stayed out two laps too late, and something happened on the pit strategy there. Clayton Kincard, phenomenal race for that driver. Choosing the right time to come to pit road as well. Short pitting worked. I mean, Miz came in on 52. Some of the drivers that stayed out the longest. Dennis Daly came in on 56. Only rebounded to seventh here. And we had 13 drivers on the lead lap. Last driver on the lead lap will be Robin Stevens. And yes, she did beat AJ. Congrats to the driver. Anthony Crown over with the victory here. As all the drivers finish up their races. Hampton, Virginia native is going to get the victory here. And a great time for everybody to enjoy a good race at Pocono. A couple of cautions. Not even a bad race. Pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Round over gets the victory. Here's your race results. Thank you to, again, Stevens Motorsports for getting out there. Again, YouTube.com forward slash at Stevens underscore Motorsports. Make sure you check them out. There's a link that's been popping up in chat. Make sure that you do go and follow that guy. It is the most important thing on tonight's schedule other than 
of course these racers having a good time and, and putting in some energy here um i'm sorry jd was the last driver to lead lap uh robin was the next drive jd just had gotten past so I don't know why it said uh, anything different than that, but yeah, JD was the last driver to leave by. But Robin finishes in 14th. Anthony Crown over Kevin Savoy. Clayton Kidcart's going to be your top three here tonight. But Nell, Miz, your top five. Nichols, Daly, Williams, uh, Green, and Morgan, your top 10. Mike McKaylee finishes in 11th. Abby finishes in 12th. Uh, JD, Robin, Jeff, and uh, AJ, your top 16. Wolfenbarger finishes in the 17th. Uh, and uh, it looks like Zachary King's going to be there in 18th. I believe Wolfenbarger is going to be the regular season champion uh, champion but i am going to wait until they make the formal announcement we'll talk to whoever that is next week uh because that's how that's how we that's how we have to do things sometime rich holland carter nelson's going to be your top 20 uh anthony mcpherson finishes in 21st uh, josh brock jo uh, thomas gum diesel hunter excuse me I had to sneeze um joseph Cossey, uh gary freeman bricks dirting and bobby arnett have an issue early on so uh, he wasn't able to race, but he was out there helping some folks. Um, yeah, that's uh, that was a good race. It was a solid race, solid performance for the drivers. And uh, this guy goes and gets the victory. Anthony Crownover did the pitch strategy I would have done, and uh, and it showed up, and that's exactly what happened here today. You were able to make this one work. Walk me through it, and um, it's it's. I mean, they stayed out too long, and, and you were able to capitalize on that. Yeah, I got to be honest. Um... It's been a while since I won one of these and uh, since last season in this series. Um, and I was looking at our lap times and we were running, you know, 57 something in the draft between the three of us. We weren't really pushing that hard, just running together there. And I was like, well, on fresh tires, I can run in the 55. So if I can make up two seconds a lap on them there at the beginning, I think that there's not going to be enough laps left for them to catch me back down. And for once in a lifetime, Jason, I was right on a strategy. Tell you what, uh, I would have done the same thing though. I would have came in. I, I I think when you're just running, you 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 get stagnant. You find yourself running the driver in front of your used line. That's not what you set your car up for. Uh, you know, there's lots of things that happen there. Uh, and yes, Robin, you did beat BJ uh, beat AJ again. Beat BJ, Robin beat AJ. I don't know why it's, I read that as it's because it's beat AJ, and I it doesn't matter. Uh, Anthony, uh, the. Uh, you don't want to see it get stagnant. You want to you want to make sure that you continue to push uh, the boundaries of the car. Um, and sometimes you just have to get out there and drive without worrying about whether or not uh, you know you're you're trying to make the pass on the guy in front of you. You're just trying to drive your race. Yeah, and then earlier in the race, I was like, man, it's hard to pass on the inside. I think I can only pass on the outside. Maybe in a uh, turn one and two, uh, couldn't really pass anybody. Turn two or three, and. Uh, um, so we needed to play a little bit of strategy, just biding a little time behind him. Um, I don't think really, if you got out in the lead, you could get passed pretty easily with the draft here. So I figured the only way that it's going to spread us out is the green flag stops. And like I said, it just worked in my favor this week. Um, uh, sometimes last week I was speeding on pit road, able to push Kevin to the win. So maybe karma was on my side this week and let everything just work out. Exactly what happened. You know, that's exactly what I let him know about it. It's, it's, it's life and, and being nice, and it's uh, the the right call, right time. Uh, Kevin was coming though. I mean, he was he was putting down some heaters, but it, but the laps were starting to level out. Your last lap was fifty seven five two. He was at fifty seven two three. Um, you guys were starting to level out pretty quickly um, uh, there towards the end of that. So even if he got had gotten to you, um, you could have been defended, and I think uh, this track would have been. So it would have shown it would have shown up uh, just like Pocono does. But you get your victory last uh, race of the regular season. Uh, the playoffs start next uh, next week. Uh, so this is a good way to cap off uh, the regular season. Give you shout outs, man. Get a victory. Yeah, uh, shout out to Josh and um, the rest of the admin and uh, Colder on putting together this league for us. And uh, it's a lot of fun, man. And I uh, appreciate you and um, Signature Sports and uh, the race team pro rev um just to uh, thank jesse and kevin being there in chat and hauling uh, making the race go by a uh, fun pleasant time i appreciate it <laughs> i'm just happy to get one of the i don't know what to say i'm happy to get a win finally now i know what to do with my hands at pocono yeah what do i do now yeah, yeah that's the way it goes uh a lot of fun man it was a ton of fun to watch and uh 
a big special thank you to Stevens Motorsports as well. He sponsored today's race, and uh, it's a fun it's a fun time. It, it can be can be some of the best times when it comes to this racetrack, but uh, it's uh, it's it's all cool. Big congrats out there from uh, from Spicy the Dixie. <laughs> hey, I appreciate all you fellas out there. Oh, spicy! I can't wait for you to be able to change your name. You should just call it. You should change from Dark Horizon Thirty Five Underscore Dixie to Spicy the Dixie. That's what it should be. Much love, man. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you sometime this week. Yes, sir. That's the man. Anthony Crown over finishes uh, out front of uh, this guy. Kevin Savoy comes home in victory lane. And uh, I tell you what, dude. Twenty eight more days to Spicy. Yeah, I tell you what, you were coming. Uh, it's a little bit too too little too late when it came to maybe the pitch strategy um because the lap times mattered this time and 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 everything just kind of, I know you, I know you guys are just trying to run those things out of fuel just run it as long as you can uh at least from my point of view and and your best attribute is getting in and out of pit road um able to put some time on Jesse Bunnell even even a, even a lap later um walk me through this one this one was this one looked fun yeah, it was fun. Uh, it was a bit slightly draft lock. Um, if you like, the car in the front was just drove so much better. I was in traffic the whole race, so I felt like the front tires just give up when you got close and stuff like that. Um, I was still able to make some headways from time to time. Uh, most of the time, though, it was guys trying to follow and peek out into turn one and you could go deep while the others had to slow down a bit and they'd open up and just a slight door would open and you could slide up. Um, but yeah, um, there is that one time though on the tunnel turn that the 20 was right behind me. I screwed it up and slid up, hit the wall and he was right there on me and it knocked him into the inside wall. I think so. Sorry to the 20 for that one. Um, didn't, you know, I, my bad. I smacked the wall and that got him into me. But yeah, for the rest of the night though, uh it was it was fun. Uh car handled really well. Um but yeah, when we got to that uh, last green flag stop, um I was behind Anthony for like two laps before he pitted and I saw him his front tires just gave out. He started going wide all the time and I got up inside of him and he started to drop back like almost a second before he pitted and so I'm pit. I'm like, oh, I'll wait a few laps, and I'll told myself I'll stay with Jesse. Sure enough, Jesse went into the pits, and I tried to go up uh, to go with him, but I looked in the mirror, and the 98 was coming up with a head of steam on new tires, and I was not on the bottom, so I decided, screw it, I, I just got to go and did an extra lap, and that extra lap probably cost me, but man, I'm just so happy that Anthony got the win after he pushed me last week at Daytona for the win, so. Uh, everything balanced out tonight. Hey, wide Ford's top three. That's uh, that will be uh, that'll be the first time we've had that in a hot minute. Um, this it's... one, this one made uh, uh, made for some highlights. That's for sure. And I would I'd go back and take a look at just uh, at that turn two in, uh, incident. Yes, you hit the wall, um, but I think the exit of the twenty was still was bad. I think he still gets into you even if it's if if it's not speed related. So. Yeah, I, I mean, I had to lift a lot, so I, I had a really slow turn, too, so he, he ran up on me fast. So, I mean, if I had a better turn, it would have evened out, but the way I the way I hit it and the front end just did not stick. Uh, so I was off the throttle probably the whole way through. I just didn't have any speed, and it's still I still punted the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there's... Go go back and look at it. It I, I it'll yeah. it, it'll open your eyes to to what happened. We watched it from overhead. And, um, it was uh, it was it was not a good entry or a good exit for the twenty. Um, he could have cleared that. Um, that's what we talk about. You know, t- the tunnel turn being the most difficult turn on this racetrack because oh, it's so, it's time. it's so easy to to think that you can just carry that thing with a ton of speed and and realistically. It's almost like you have to double clutch it, slow down. Uh, you almost feel like you want you want to want to be near as near the grass as possible. To, but if you're that close to the grass, then you, you're gonna have a bigger issue. So yeah, it will be the exit. Yeah, and the air was horrible. The turn tunnel turn was horrible. Yeah. If you were alone, like the last laps after the pit stop, um, I I was always lifting like 
at the second cone, I think, behind someone, and it would still plow the front end. And you'd try to break and did the same thing. Clean air, I was lifting at the last cone and right back on the gas, hitting the apex. It was night and day. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the air was crazy tonight. Uh and it's always going to move around in these cars uh, because yep. it, it has the most impact. Side draft, side down force. Um, you have to be near the way. This is the one car that I'll tell you that you need to be closer to the wall than any of the other cars because it makes more of a difference, especially if you're in traffic. If you're the leader, you need to be away from the wall because it'll slow you down and drag you. It's it's crazy. The the, air, the, the arrow push on, on this car is just, it's, it's nuts. But all right, Kevin, congratulations, man. Give your shout outs, brother. You got a, you could P2 finish and not, not, too shabby because you get the playoffs coming up next week yeah nice momentum for the playoffs so i'll take it um i was catching him but yeah i ran out of time and if i could have either got into the pits that lap earlier or had a better out lap or uh, in lap uh might have made it a bit closer but man his aunt was driving great tonight so um he was uh got the better best of us tonight but yeah, so yeah, thanks to you guys, Signature Esports, for making up great broadcasts. Thanks to all the fans that are watching. Um, very much appreciated. Um, congrats to the 94. Great finish, man. And uh, yeah, thanks to everyone that runs the league, Winston Throwback, to make this possible because uh, it's a blast every week. Is uh, going to skip. It's just going to pick up. That's what's going to happen. It's, it's, what, it's what is necessary. So. All right, brother. Well, congratulations once again. We'll we'll, uh, we'll see you uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Have a good night. That's Kevin Savoy. He comes home in uh, P two and get to talk to this guy. The ninety four makes a four top three. Mister Clayton Kincart, buddy. What a pit strategy you had, and you just had to run clean laps. Yeah, I uh, was following Josh there. Unfortunately, I don't think he got tires in his stop, or he would have been right there with us but you know i was just feeding off of him he said let's do it so i said let's go and uh hey it worked out in the end i'll tell you what uh what's what's what was kind of your favorite part about tonight's race i mean you were there inside the top eight pretty much all night you know it's a good cycle there's a lot of things happening kind of all the way around you but uh it, it seemed like you were you were destined for a top 10 and and having the right strategy coming to pit road and and making it's a lot of times we see a lot of people just come to road, pit road together, you know, and it just, that just makes the race stagnant. And we watched how pit strategy changed this one. I mean, the top five drivers all pitted on a different lap. Yeah. It's, it's a gamble because you never know if somebody's going to self spin, get that caution and then just hose everything you're going for. So, you know, you could try to short pit gamble it and see what happens. And luckily for myself tonight, it worked out in the end, you know, again, Sucks for Josh. He was right there with me the whole time. Um, now I really enjoyed there the whole late run. It was you could throw a blanket over the top six. We were pretty much checked out. Uh, I think at one point we had a five second gap, so we were just had our own cruise control. Yeah, Josh. It looked like he was just having some right side damage uh, to deal with, and he took. And it looks like he took maybe right side tires the last time he came to pit road. That might have been it. Four tires is the call. I mean, if you're coming to pit road, um, and you've got more than five laps, you got to you got to take, you know, you, you got to take four tires. Five five laps is about what, um, a two tire strat kind of works out. Um, and nobody pitted <laughs> with the uh, other than James Morgan, who is a couple of laps down or a lap down at one point. Uh, he's the only he's the driver that went the longest. He came in on sixty three, but um you got you got to come to pit road when you need to come to pit road it seems like especially on a trick to, they don't call it a tricky triangle for nothing you know tires are super important here and and uh they just played a they played a huge role there at the end tell you what you got a b class uh 231 1376 i rating you just whooped up on a whole bunch of people that's it yeah that, i need to get back into them officials that's what that's what makes uh that number so obsolete I love it too. It makes me happy. Clayton, congratulations on a P3 finish tonight, man. You had a hell of a run and, and, uh, yeah, you caught some attention to some drivers out there and you caught some attention to the, of the folks as well. Being able to get you, get you out there and get you one, first and foremost, get to have more exposure and you didn't have something fall in your lap like I've been seeing here lately. 
so this uh this is this is really cool to see you uh, um get up or be in the podium and and on top of that you're up 12 spots it's not that's you started 15th and so you went through some drivers to be able to be there and you stayed there all night i think that is probably the most impressive part about tonight's drive for you appreciate it uh little comment for josh brock mm-hmm. mcflurries are on me baby <laughs> I like it. all right brother give me shout outs man uh you guys for putting this on broadcasting all the sponsors get us out here every week um uh, the admins you know there's these guys are pretty tough to corral sometimes they do a good job uh josh for that pit stall for that pit pit strategy and all all the shenandoah shine guys all right, brother. Well, congratulations uh, once again. We'll uh, hopefully we'll see you again next week. Uh, doing the same thing. I, I, he sent me the points. I think I just squeaked into the chase. That's what I was looking at. Yeah, twelfth. Yeah, twelfth. My question is: is okay, so? Oh, that's the standings as the chase would be. I want the season standings. I don't want the chase standings. I want the season standings. Um. Yeah, there we go. So, Jesse, okay, yeah, yeah, man, you're solid twelfth. Yeah, you're you're right there. So you you're gonna have you're gonna have some good races coming up. I, I see it happening. I'm envisioning it happening because uh, you got uh, you got some playoff points to be working towards. So, uh, congrats, man. Absolutely. P three finish. We'll talk to you later, man. Yep, sounds good. Thank you. All right, that's him. That's the man. That's Clayton Kincard. He does it. So it looks to be as. Garrett Wolfenbarger is going to be your pole sitter, or no, your pole sitter, your, uh, your regular season champion. Bud Nell is going to be second. Uh, Cossie finishes third. Dennis Daly, jo- uh, Joshua McKaylee, or JD McKaylee finishes tied tied with fifth, tied in fifth from Jeff Pless. I'm going to make a graphic for this, folks. I'll post it on on our our Facebook page, uh, and we'll get it all taken care of. We've uh, and Kevin was able to go up to seventh in points, up two spot up two spots in this series. Uh, so we'll get that all taken care of. We'll talk to Garrett next week. Uh, at the beginning of the race, so we can we can give a little little love his way for uh, putting on a great race, three wins in the series. But Nell could have capitalized here, very close to doing so. But he would I don't think he would have won the championship. But twenty four points separated. Uh, so Jesse Bunnell wa- um, basically came in uh, forty points behind, and Cossie came in forty one points behind, and uh, he was able to he was able to knock. A chunk of those points off so i mean 14 points is what he gained on today's race over garrett so just remind you that anything can happen when it comes to this and so uh we'll uh, we'll have to take a look at it but folks be good be safe be kind i want to know that's the most important thing thank you to stevens motorsports for being a part of this make sure you check out uh the links in the description for not only him uh, but also uh coulter and uh, uh josh brock's paint shops that's where you get all these paints from uh they make them for all the drivers uh the triple og Anthony Crown over about to be the quad OG because we're about to hit year four. <laughs> he said our first race we ever called and he's there. So, uh, and he wins this one. So uh, much love to the driver tomorrow night. We'll be back with, uh, the Winston throwback series. No, what's the throwback series? Sorry. The, um, go recent diecast cup series with Sim 500. Uh, they're going to put on a phenomenal race tomorrow night. They've been putting on some spectacular races, uh, as of lately as well. Um, uh, it's just been, been some good next gen series and then friday and saturday we're going to be off except for we're going to be celebrating our four-year anniversary if you want to donate to signature sports go to um go to paypal.com forward slash signature esports or paypal.com or paypal.me whatever it is it's in my discord uh if you want to increase our timer all you got to do is donate to do that um before the stream i'm going to take donations up until friday once friday happens uh, then we're going to do it all live on stream for the marathon stream to celebrate our, our fourth year uh, of uh, of iRacing broadcast. Thank you, Anthony. Much love. Um, you're going to get more than one win because you're in the playoffs, right? So that's what matters. All right, brother. Folks, be good. Be safe. Be kind of another. I want to see you all back uh, over the weekend, and, and let's just have some fun, right? That's what matters. We'll see you in the next one.